Some might call this the best time of year. It is the 35th annual Ernest Hemingway Days. That means there are around 100 men resembling young and old Ernest Hemingways competing for the title of Papa. Well, this morning we are going to talk with some of the past winners of the Ernest Hemingway Lookalike Contest. We'll also talk with some of this year's contestants. <laughs> One of the great things about it, when you win, you represent your year for the rest of your life. And that's quite an honor to do that. I mean, there's only one. And this year's winner will have that same feeling. And picking one out is, is a challenge and a half for the judges. There'll be about 15, 16 judges. So it's not an easy task, but because especially when everybody looks so good. And you'll <laughs> see a lot of that this morning. Once you win, you are a lifetime judge. So I've judged since I won in 02. I started in the contest as a rookie in about 97, so I was fortunate uh, to win it on my sixth try. I'm coming from Phoenix, Arizona. Now, after six years of competing, I am the 2014 Papa Lookalike. This is my sixth year in the contest. I almost quit, I almost didn't come back. I decided to come back my second year and I made the finals that year and I've made the finals every year since. So I've been doing it for 30 years and I'll do it until I can't do it no more. <laughs> this is my third year as a Hemingway lookalike. I go as the young Hemingway in his 40s, which is what he actually looked like when he lived here in Key West. If you go to, go to his house here, you'll see paintings and pictures of him, and he, I think he looked just like this, or that's at least what I'm trying to go for. I had to manicure this. This is, this is not just, I don't just throw this on. This takes a lot of love. It doesn't say old, fat, bearded Hemingways. It just says Ernest Hemingway, and he had a look all through his life. There are no guidelines, per se. We have a big task and it gets wild in Sloppy Joe's. The 450 plus people and they're cheering for their, their guy and uh, you can't hear yourself. It's a great excuse for my dad and I to get together and, and participate in a great cause because at the end of the day, it is a fundraiser and you are raising money for scholarships. We have given away over $150,000 in scholarships to the kids at the Florida Keys and over 125 contestants for the scholarship. The whole thing about the Hemingway Lookalike Society is number one, it's, it's a lookalike contest. But number two is it's kind of like a fraternity. And if you ever were in a fraternity in college or whatever, it's got that same kind of feel. Fellows with a lot of the same interests who were wild, fun guys when they were younger who are still wild and fun old guys. Well, we have, we've learned that you have to pace yourself. After you've been here a couple of years, you find out that you can't go wild on Wednesday night, Thursday night, and expect to make Friday and Saturday night. So we have to pace ourselves. Again, I go back to that word camaraderie because that's what builds. You understand each other, your friendships, all walks of life, all occupations. A lot of them are retired. I still work, but I still have fun doing what I'm doing. So you do build great friendships. You look forward to coming down. Coming, going to Sloppy Joe's, that first five minutes is one of the best parts for me because I have the same bartenders, you see the same faces, and everyone welcomes you here. And, and that's, that's what's fun for me. The competition's fun. If, if I win or not, it doesn't matter. It's just participating is a good time. I think if somebody has ever said to you, you look a lot like Ernest Hemingway, you have got to come down to Key West because this contest is a load of fun. This is just a Hemingway look-alike contest. This ain't life and death, you know? <laughs> I mean, this, this is supposed to be fun. If you want more information on how to get involved, check out papalookalikes.com.